Good tidings, ladies and gentlemen of the Lodge, and welcome back. Today, we are going to dive in on some more Kingdom Hearts theories, and boy, do I have a juicy one for you all today. But before moving forward, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you who have been subscribed to and supported this channel as we have recently passed 1,500 subscribers on YouTube. So thanks a lot to all of you. I'll keep these videos and podcasts coming, because at the end of the day, who's having more fun than us? But anyway, rounding us back to Kingdom Hearts, today we are here to talk about Quadratum, and why I believe that there will actually be two different Quadratums in play in the future of the series. Essentially, I believe we will have a waking Quadratum and a sleeping Quadratum. Before dissecting the secret movie, I'd like to start with the most obvious point of evidence this theory has to offer, which would take us to the Yazora boss fight in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. As we see, Sora and Yazora have their encounter in this space, which essentially seems to be a nighttime version of the final world. However, when the battle begins, we see this landscape warp into Quadratum. Yozora explains how he wandered into this place and encountered some trials, showing us that this landscape warp was more than just for show. But what we find at the end of the battle, whether victorious or defeated, is that this entire encounter and battle happened within a dreamscape. Yozora's dream, to be specific. We then fade in to a waking Yozora, who seems to be being driven around the city of Quadratum. Waking Quadratum. So essentially, by observing Yozora alone, we see he has access to the city of Quadratum when awake. But when sleeping, he not only still has access to the city of Quadratum, but uniquely a version of the city in which Sora is present. I highly doubt the Quadratum that Yozora wakes up in has Sora roaming around freely. I have a feeling that Sora can only be accessed within this dreamscape. Another fun fact to note is that as we know, Oftentimes, the realms of sleep and death can overlap. And as we see, Sora had no problem reaching Kairi in the final world of Melody of Memory. Furthering the evidence that Sora may be trapped within a dreamscape right now. Next, I want to analyze the Kingdom Hearts 3 secret movie for some visual clues. So as we see from this first shot, we almost see a mirroring reflection between two colors. We have a blue on one side of the reflection, and orange on the other. And for those who may not know, when referencing a traditional color model, orange and blue are complementary colors. So right away between the color palette and this reflection, we see sort of a mirror slash duality trope on display. The orange color represents Sora and his location, while the blue references Riku and his location. The question now becomes, are the two of them in the same city, or are one of them in a copy or dreamscape version of the city? We can see that Yozora is able to access Riku's location, but as we know, Yozora in theory would have access to both the waking Quadratum and the sleeping one. But something worth noting is the Quadratum that Yozora wakes up in is seemingly bustling with life and motion, as most cities are. But if you observe the secret movie, you'll find that the Quadratum that Sora and Riku are in seems barren, abandoned even. There's no sign of life really anywhere. The secret movie even makes it a point to show you an empty car, as well as a green light, but with no traffic being directed. It's very peculiar. Why deliberately show us the lack of life in the city from Sora and Riku's angle, but upon Yozora's awakening in the back seat, we see Quadratum operating as a normal city? Again, I don't know if the Quadratum Riku landed in is, in theory, the sleeping one or the waking one, but what I do know is, the idea that Sora and Riku are in overlapping worlds would be nothing new. We saw this trope fleshed out in Dream Drop Distance. So to sum it up, we see that Yozora has access to Quadratum both in his sleep and when awake. Uniquely, however, he had his encounter with Sora in the dreamscape. We also see that it would make sense for Sora to be in this dreamscape, because this could explain how he was able to reach Kairi in the final world, because as we have covered, the realms of sleep and death can sometimes touch and overlap. Then. By observing some visual cues in the secret movie, as well as the ending to Remind, we see that there is a stark difference between the Quadratum from Yozora's back seat and the Quadratum that Sora seems to find himself in. But that's all I'm going to have for you guys when it comes to this theory. So what do you think? 
Is there a waking Quadratum and a sleeping Quadratum? And if so, are both Sora and Riku in the sleeping world, or did Riku make his way into the waking Quadratum? Let me know! Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see all of you beautiful sickos and normies next time.